Greetings everyone to our first video message in the month of February. And probably what's been on everyone's mind as we start this new month is some changes in all of our COVID mitigations, especially with masking. Uh, you probably didn't follow as closely as I did all of the changes that have come statewide through the downstate lawsuit. But I guess what matters most to me is how well everyone handled those changes we had people being very respectful, regardless of your viewpoint on whether you want your child to wear a mask in school, uh, uh, that's safety for you, or whether that's something that's unnecessary for you. It, it really doesn't matter as much as how we treat each other, and that's why I'm so proud of this. I'm expecting more changes to come. This has been a whirlwind for all of us, and I, I expect there'll be more changes. So as we find out what the latest news is and react to that and try and interpret that, we just would expect you to continue to talk to your kids about being respectful of one another, honor each other's wishes and really we're waiting through this and hopefully uh, find our way towards the end of this whole experience. But it has come with a lot of uh, sideways steps and back and front and forth. We will figure it out, but we want to thank everyone for all their great support. I want to put also one more plug with the surveys that we've been sending you. The most important one is the statewide five essential survey, which we want to get our parents to certainly do. We need to reach a certain threshold, 20% of our parents. So we're well below that at this point. So we're going to keep asking and asking and asking. But you can go to our district website and find that link to complete that. We also will be emailing that so you've got that in quick reference. Please just to take the short amount of time to give us that feedback about our schools. We're also trying to find out a little bit more about our programming and our REACH programming. We're trying to determine if there are ideas you have for after school program or before school programming that might help you and your family with child care and things like that. We know it's a great opportunity and we're also very excited that this summer our REACH program will be offering really exciting summer opportunities for your kids to stay involved, stay connected with other kids and really have a great time. And believe it or not, our second round of parent-teacher conferences are at hand. Soon you'll be seeing from your school a sign up for February 17th conference. In the spring, we only do one day of conferences that February 17th date. Sign up with your school, get a chance to, whether it's via Zoom or coming in person, talk to your son, your daughter's teacher, learn what's going on, get the update on how they're doing in class. But then on that Friday, February 18th, we do not have any classes at all. And we also don't have school on February 21st, which is President's Day. And we've been telling you all about the district's big, hairy, audacious goals, our BHAGs. And the last one I want to share with you is one that is really perfect for this point in time is our BHAG regarding 21st century learning spaces. We're trying to modernize every single spot we have in the district to make it the very best place for your child to learn. And you might notice as you drive by the high school, we have this massive locker room project going on. I got a chance to tour that the other day. It's going to be fabulous. We will have a grand opening. So even if your child doesn't go to high school, you can see the fabulous facilities that will be prepared for our students and be all ready for them. So that's a massive project and we've really uh, starting to get excited as we see the fruits of, it, uh, of the labor come up. The junior high we know is also going to have a number of things coming. We're looking at their uh, renovating the lunchroom. Uh, if you haven't been in there a while, you might see the new locker rooms. There's a lot of things going on. There's the new parking lot that helps traffic flow a lot better. A lot of great things happening to sustain that building. We also know that Jefferson School is crowded and we're looking at some things of how can we make that school flow better? How can we give them more space? There's a number of ideas uh, to have there. Uh, Crosby School, our newest school, seemingly you wouldn't think you have to do that much, but there's a lot of things in the lunchroom we're looking to do there as well. How can we give them new uh, uh, equipment, cafeteria tables, things like that that'll be, help, uh, be helpful there. And the big project at Washington School. Some of you went to Washington School as a kid, remember how hot it was. We'll actually have air conditioning at Washington School, which would be a great asset. For all the learners there and all the staff there to have a little cooler temperatures because it gets way hot in August. But additionally, we're looking at classroom furniture in every single uh, space in our building. So all classrooms, we're looking at new furniture, new desks, new things that we're putting in an order hopefully as soon as we can. So that's something that's really a value of the district. We want to make sure that all of our facilities look cared for, first class. And when you go to other schools in our area, say, man, our, our school looks great. We look just as good as them. That's really important to us that everyone feels like they're in a first rate place because we want the education from top to bottom to look first class and that's uh, how we take care of our 21st century learning spaces. And with everything else going on, let's pause for a moment and celebrate some of the great things going on within the district. First, 26 of our students 
were uh, in a competition, a business competition, and are going to state in the future business uh, professionals of America. It's a great opportunity for our students to test their skills and the things they're learning against other people in the state. So we had a great experience with 26 of our kids from the high school going to that. We also have one of our high school teachers, Kyle Cruz, was named the Illinois Driver's Ed Teacher of the Year, which is a tremendous award. You think about all the people teaching driver's ed uh, throughout our state. We also are proud that our chess team just went to state. Uh, that was an exciting experience. You think about all the smart students in uh, our state, and there we are standing shoulder to shoulder with them. And also super excited about the success of our wrestling team. We know that we always pay attention to wrestling here in Harvard and our regional championship team uh, going on to sectionals this next weekend, and we're so excited to root for them. We are getting to close to that postseason for our uh, basketball teams too. So all of our uh, seasons that have done a good job, our first season of bowling, there's just so many things to celebrate, so let's not lose track of what a great year we're actually having. Uh, we'll keep it up. Uh, this will, Hopefully the temperatures get warmer and we keep celebrating a lot of successful moments for our teachers, our students, and everyone involved in District 50. Thank you very much.